Okay. Snowy Owl, Snowy Owl, Snowy Owl. So they're coming out with a uh, Layer 2, Layer 2, called Arctic Fox. And, you know, technically the website itself is live, but the rewards have not started yet. So I got a little confused because there's just so many of these projects out there that I can't keep track of anything anymore. So I, I just simply look at it and then just literally wing it on live, or stream, or live on recording, because I'm not actually streaming, uh, just for you. All right, because again, that's, hey, stay present with God, because at this point, it's like, well, I can't worry about the past, and I honestly can't worry about the future. All I got is literally right now. So, anyway, uh, as you already know, Snowy Owl, uh, Snow Shares is going to run out sometime around early April, right, or maybe mid-April. So, they kind of have to pump out a layer two pretty quickly, so that's what this is. <clears throat> and basically, this is exactly a copycat of Snowy Owl, right? I haven't actually looked at the... You know, actually, I haven't even looked at the documentation here yet. So, how long will this be vest... How long will the shares, which haven't even been... So, their documentation hasn't actually been... <laughs> The documentation goes to the wrong URL. Okay, so I guess it's not uh, it's not out yet. So I have no idea how long this is gonna last, right? What is this gonna be vested over, you know, one and a half months, three months, six months, twelve months, etc. So anyway, this website may be live, but the rewards have not started yet. So there's no point looking at the LPs here. But these are the LPs that will be coming out. So you got Fox Snow, Fox Joe, and Fox Share Joe. So, uh, me personally, I'm obviously going to, you know, wait and see when Fox Joe LP comes out. Uh, <clears throat> Fox Joe LP comes out on Yield Wolf. Uh, maybe I might do Fox Snow, you know, but to be honest, I kind of want to just keep my Snow Joe LPs. And then I'll just worry about, I'll worry about what happens later when Snow Shares actually runs out. Because they said they're going to create a new reward pool or something where it'll actually, like, buy back and burn your snowshares so it just becomes hyper deflationary so it's actually going to be kind of interesting to see you know how this will work out because two of them and three of them i stopped keeping track of i mean i consider it a dead project at this point i'm pretty sure it's still going right so you know but i kind of want to see what how a successful or kind of kind of surviving project deals with the uh transition from you know, a layer one that's expired on shares to the new one, right? Because the only experience I actually had was with Zilla Finance, right? And that didn't do too well, right? Because they had to shift to version two contract. And the version one shares of Zilla, the version one Z shares just, just kept going down over time. But that was per completely because of fundamentals. So I don't really have a lot of good data to really go by in, in the first place. Let's try the exterminator. No, I'm good. Yep, thanks. So, uh, so yeah. So that's so again. I want to see how this works out. Plus, like I might have mentioned in the last video, the rare er Genesis pool video. Uh, I actually realized that me putting a lot of money into Caesar actually lowers my daily income because I'm getting a smaller APR. So it actually pays for me to. You know, do because uh, the problem with AVAX is there's just not a lot of good tomb forks that I like. There, in fact, there's just not a lot of tomb forks. Period. They're still all mostly in Phantom. <sighs> much to my chagrin, actually, much to all of our chagrin, I think. So anyway, uh, so you could take a look at this, and what do we actually have here? Snow Joe LP, Joe. Okay. All right, so you can see the multiplier rewards uh, the for Genesis. It's going to start this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, which is New York City time. So 1 p.m. New York City time. This Saturday, and it'll only last 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, this I do remember. The, the LP and the border room will go live at the same time. So uh, um, I think when these things go live, I'll probably do another video. I have that in the queue, right? Zombie finance, uh, oh, okay, I did not actually put this in, so, man, I'm just going to be pumping out a lot of, cra a lot of freaking videos, man. Arctic 
Fox Finance uh, update when LP and board rooms go live. So, yeah. So, obviously, if you want to do risk free, you can do USDC or Joe, but bear in mind, it looks like there's a 1% deposit fee. And of course, the multiplier, you know, is the lowest. So, you know, less risk, less reward. More risk, more reward. Uh, so you can do Snow Share Joe LP, so that's good. That's the, that's the same reward pool as Snow Joe LP, so there's also 10,000x. And then I guess when you start making Fox tokens, because that's the base token, right, the base peg token, you can pair it up with Joe's and also get the same amount if you want to do that. So they're actually doing the same thing as Rare Finance is doing. Is they're already pre, they're already having people pre-create the LP before they go live. Again, I forgot the, what the reason was, but there's a good reason for it. Because again, you want to deal with price impact, botters, uh, super predator wells, you know, all that stuff. So fine by me. But in my case, I would, if I were to do the Genesis, uh, I'm just gonna do. I would do what I have is snow. Actually, no, I accidentally. I accidentally bought Snow Share Joe LP. I really wanted to do Snow Joe, but my brain was just so like fuzzled because I tried to snipe Ring Finance today, which got bought out instantly on the pink sale. I, I hate these botters, by the way. So I like I got an okay night's sleep uh, last night, but I woke up at like 5 a.m. Ugh. So you know maybe I'll maybe, maybe that's why I'm a little I feel a little off today. Maybe I'm gonna go for a walk after I finish these videos. So either way, so anyway, if you have Snow Joe LP or Snow Share Joe LP, I kind of did the game theory in my head. I think both will do just fine. So it doesn't really matter what you have. Just do, just just put it in here if you're gonna do the Genesis pool. And and there's no deposit fee either. So it's it's really up to you. <clears throat> and this is great because now that I'm looking at this, that basically means. My APR on Yield Wolf is going to go up because obviously people are going to pull money out of you know Yield Wolf and the website to go on here, which gives us who remain on the Snowy Owl website more APR. So it just winds up being the same thing, at least to me personally. Hmm. Ah. Now that being said, maybe it's still smart for me to actually leave Yield Wolf. I don't know why I was going to get up to get water because I filled my jar of water here. Maybe it actually is more profitable because I remember when I first started really doing these hardcore tomb forks. All right, I really got into Zilla Finance and Snow Tomb. Oh, shoot. Hold on, I put it. Yeah, I overflowed my cup a little bit. I remember that I actually did do Genesis pools on the on the layer twos, all right. And in the case of Zilla Finance, you know when they had the re-release layer one as version two. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I actually printed quite a bit of money. Hmm. I don't know, but I could also just be lazy and just farm. I don't know. I mean, if I wind up getting like 20% daily APR on Yield Wolf and my Snowshares LP, because A, it's going to be a combination of prices increasing, so the APR increases, and then P, and then two, people leaving the pool. So the same amount of rewards, but less people claiming them. So that means I get a greater percentage of the rewards, right? So that's why your APR also can go up. So it's kind of like an interesting game theory kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, but let me see. Uh, let's take a look here. Actually, we have the charts open. Well, I guess we'll just use this. Well, I guess we could do this. All right. So 643 is the price of Fox, and the price of Fox shares is about 41,000. Obviously, this thing is just completely distorted because you know. There's a small amount over here, and then there's, that's just to create the contract. So, hmm, how would I actually play this? How would I actually play this? Because I have until basically 1 o'clock this Saturday. <sighs> you know, I don't, I don't actually really know. I actually don't know what I would do here. Because right now, let me, let me check. Let me check. What is, it, what is Snowshares LP paying right now? All right, according to Chrome, Yield Wolf is right now paying me 7.62% daily APR on Joe Snowshares with a TVL of 304k.662. 
So 762, that's the, isn't that like a Russian ammunition type? Or am I thinking 752 or 754? I'm pretty sure 762 is like the size of the, now I'm curious, what is the size of an AK-47 round? 762, right? Yeah, 762. 762 by 39 millimeter. Yeah, because you play all these like shooter games and then you actually just know like everything, you know, that. Well, you can thank America for that, because we birthed the first-person shooter, because obviously America is all about, like, guns and shit, and people love their guns. So, yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to just take this on faith. I'm going to let God tell me what to do when the time comes. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, um, but maybe I do want to try the Genesis pool. Because I do remember, again... When, I, when Frozen Tomb came out, I moved all my dough over to, like, Frozen Tomb and made a, made a freaking killing. I guess I could tell you what it was. So at the time, I had, like, what, three grand worth, four grand worth of, like, I don't even remember what it was. It was, like, Slot, AVAX, and S-Tome, AVAX, or something. Oh, I had quite a bit. It was mostly because I put in, like, two grand each, so I put a total of 4,000. Then because of the price increases, it was it was worth eight thousand, and then I put all that into the Frozen Tomb Genesis, and then from that I just I just kept cranking out money like like the Federal Reserve. It was uh, it was really nice, and then of course over time, you know, I kept taking profits, which was the right move because obviously, as we now know, Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb eventually go to like near zero, and then I haven't been in it in like a week now, so I don't even know where it's at. I would be surprised if it still is like. You know, there's no point. I, don't, I could actually check their website. Maybe they've improved finally. Uh, no, they're just as bad as I remember it. I mean, look, slot is nine dollars and forty-three cents. It's actually even worse. How about Frozen Tomb? Well, Frozen Tomb is also doing worse. Look, even Flot is doing. <laughs> just look how bad this is. Look. Let's give it a test, because I actually didn't back test this. Let's see. Let's see if they're doing the smart APR system for once. The answer is technically yes. S Tome AVAX. Flot AVAX. Yeah, so F Tome AVAX barely pays out. Now they're doing curve tri crypto which is not helpful, uh, and they have single staking f -tome. So theoretically, this should go back up to PEG, but these rewards are so poor that I think nobody wants to even bother with this. I wouldn't bother with it, especially since you got better uh, options. So, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I think this is, uh, yeah, so, like, this is a dead project. Like, it's still running, obviously, and a lot of people are invested in it still, so that's good for them, but, yeah, it's like, you know, I, I guess there's a point of no return. Like, once you reach, like, critical mass on the negative side, you're never coming back. So, you know, you gotta implement the smart APR system before it's too late, or otherwise... You're going to zero, right? Or whatever is the equivalent of zero, which in snow, which in snow and frozen tombs case is like like a handful of dollars, basically, like literally a handful of dollars. So, so yeah. But hopefully that doesn't happen with Snowy Owl and the uh, Arctic Fox. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like Gray Finance is actually kind of like on the borderline and is not using smart APR. They're overweighting shares, so eventually. It's going to be a problem, but for now, I'm just playing Grave Finance because it's just going to basically be like, you know, a farm and then, you know, leave. I only have like $45 worth or $64 depending on the price of Grave, right? Because it's going up and down like crazy. But after that, you know, unless I see Zombie Finance actually implements a smart APR system, well, I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm just going to big chill in Arctic Fox and Snowy Owl. Right, and then just kind of hope that they know what they're doing, you know. I mean, again, it's going to be kind of tough because they already are, have three pools out. So that's really stretching thin the reward pool of Fox shares. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. But at least in the short term and right and for the first, like, four epochs, you know, this will print pretty nicely. 
So uh, I'll decide what to do then. So, all right. So that's uh, Arctic Fox, right? The layer two of Snowy Owl. So you can decide what you want to do with it. All right. But I'm uh, because of my mistake, I'm obviously gonna have to farm Snowshare Joe LP uh, if I choose to do the Genesis, because that's what I personally have. I really want. I thought I actually was buying Snow Joe, right? But I didn't realize I was actually buying Snowshare Joe. I was like, why do I have to approve this? I never revoked, revoked my permissions. And then after I re hit the reject buzz, I was like, wait, it says Snowshare Joe. I like, oh my god, I bought the wrong thing. Again. Ugh. But oh well, at least Snowshare pays a higher APR. And everyone's buying up. And because, you know, uh, Snowy... And because Snowy Owl has correctly more or less is doing smart APR system again, thank God. All right, because there because when I left my Snowy Owl position to put it all in the Caesar, uh, it was not doing smart APR, and the and everyone was putting all their TVL and like the shares. So I was like, oh God, why is everyone screwing this up? It's like, come on, man. So boardroom is printing 3363. Uh, this is singles. This is single stake snow. So 1447. So this is okay. Snow snow share is a little under, but still pretty comparable. So it is buying snow. So I have two pools buying snow. And snow share Joe. So this is shares. So it's slightly less than boardroom. So that's correct. And Snow Joe is also slightly below the boardroom, but I think in this case it should be fine because you have one, two, three reward pools. So basically, they're all kind. Of, so it looks like they all are sharing 25% of the reward pools on Snowy All. And basically, this is 25%, this is 50%, and this is half and half. So. What's half of 25%? 12 and a half. So 50, so 62.5% of the entire total rewards on Snowy Owl are all buying pressure Snow Joe or Snow. And that's correct because you need to overweight the, the base token. And thus, that is why this thing went below peg and is now above peg again. And then, you know, all is, all is good. All is good. So, and of course, if this is above peg, that means the shares have to go up because obviously people will then ape into the boardroom room to print more peg clowns, right, of snow in this case. And then the cycle is nice and positive in an upward spiral. So, all right. So that's actually good. So I actually, so I actually feel better about buying back in a little bit in the snow, y'all, because right now there's just not a lot for me work going on in the AVAX, right, that I feel is safe and sustainable. So then yeah, I got this. So yeah. So that probably means that Arctic Fox should be the same way. We you know once the price is kind of like, you know, settle down and stuff. So again, we'll uh, I'll see what to do. All right. So. So that's that. Uh, my next video will be Titano revisited. Is it still worth it? And I think tomorrow I'm definitely gonna do the Seifu protocol because now that I had a pretty nice correction, it'd probably be a good time to do a video on that. All right. I don't know. Maybe I could technically do it today, but that would be four videos. Because I have Sub Zero Finance, Sub Zero Plus Finance in the queue. I gotta cover Zombie Finance when that fully releases. Skull Finance will also be fully released. Uh, Rare USDLP pool will be fully released. And then I gotta do another Arctic Fox Finance update when this project fully releases. <sighs> Okay, then that's the end of my queue for now. Blech. So, all right. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share the video. Thanks, by the way, for uh, all you new people. Like, you're really doing a great job. So, uh, I really appreciate that. All right. So, thank you. It's like, actually, I'm too lazy to lean forward. I just want to lean back on my chair because it's nice and comfortable. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, YouTube is actually a little slow in updating my subscriber count. But, again, you know, I have I <laughs> There's the frog again. So I have a, um, you know, a back end, obviously. So that gives me the actual, you know, real-time numbers, apparently. Or or it's very quick. So I was kind of hoping I'll be able to monetize the channel once I get my 4,000, you know, watch hours. So I spent a little more time deleting old videos and cleaning up the channel and stuff like that.
So, yeah, because it would really suck if I have to make a brand new YouTube channel just to get around the monetization rejection, right? But, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I don't really think there's that many problems with this channel anyways. I, I don't see why they, they would reject it. Plus, my channel brings in a lot of views and a lot of advertising revenue. So, I mean, YouTube would actually have to be dumb to, like, reject it. It's like, now I'm not saying anything crazy anymore either. <laughs> anymore either, is a quote unquote, right? So, yeah. All right, I'll see you next video. Titano revisited. And uh, yeah, spread this thing around and subscribe. Thanks.